Hello everybody. Today we are talking about the Kershaw Iridium. This is Kershaw's, I believe, their first go at a crossbar lock. Everybody else has already done a video on this thing. They say it's a great knife. Found one at a pawn shop, bought this for $35. So let's get into it. This is a model number 2038 in D2. Made in China. Aluminum scales, steel liners, aluminum backspacer. Really nice. Honestly, this it's really comfortable, but it is smooth, which is something to keep in mind for hot days out in the summer. So far, I haven't had any troubles with this thing. I've just been fidgeting with it for a bit. It is smooth, but where is I going? This right here. When you try and close this thing, It'll stop at the halfway point and then try and bounce back because of the way that the blade or the tang of the blade is shaped. It there's a hook in the blade right here up in the front that hooks around the crossbar. It causes a little bit of problems with trying to close this thing smoothly. You don't always get it and it bounces back. Now, if I tried harder, I'm sure I could get it, but you have to pull back on this fairly hard, and it's hard to get a grip when your hands aren't large enough to hit this right here, which is how I do crossbar locks. That's how I do this thing, because it's small. It is, I believe, a 3-inch blade. Yeah, almost 3 inches. This is like my sweet spot right here. So I may be going after one of these, the mini one of these, that's a 3 inch blade instead. That's probably going to be perfect for me. Um, I had to sharpen it when I bought it, which that's perfectly fine. It's a used knife. You don't get a used knife and usually have a great edge to it. Most people, when they sell their knife, it's because it was dull and they're tired of it or something like that. I haven't been able to take this thing apart. I don't have a second set of T6 bits to get these barrel spacers out. Yeah, like right there when cuz I expect it to to keep going. That halfway point. It's more like right here where it gives out and well where it gives out and sucks it back in. But when you get to that quarter point, it still pushes it away. And that's, it's just annoying to me. I don't know how they would fix that. I'm not quite 100% sure how the crossbar lock works. I'll learn that when I take this thing apart. Nice choke up point. I do like that a lot. The jimping is not very, it, it doesn't really catch your thumb. It's like it's not even there. Love the colors. Great choice. I do like the pocket clip. It catches onto your pocket perfectly without causing any trouble. I think that's it. I haven't been able to test this thing out. God, that's so annoying. The thumb stud action works great. It feels like... Yeah, it feels spring-assisted because of the way that that crossbar lock and those Omega Springs act with it. I, I don't think I'll ever get over how annoying that is. And the way I have to hold it to close it is with my pinky on right here, which is extremely uncomfortable the more you do it. Because I can't, it doesn't lock into my hand right here because of this curve. This flat spot pushes it right out of my hand. Where I'd normally hold it like this, but even then, I'm still having my pinky on there. That's super annoying. That one flaw, or not flaw, but that one gripe might actually kill this knife for me. Anyway, guys, I do appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next one.